Uh, the significance of the results that uh, we will be reporting is that we found a new avenue to uh, to apply to individuals with very severe spinal cord injury that will help them to uh, improve their motor function. That is, they will be able to stand and to step and be able to improve perhaps their voluntary control based on our initial results. And the way we uh, arrived at this uh, new insight is that we've known for some time, particularly in animal experiments, that the spinal cord has a pretty sophisticated neural networks within it. And we've described this often as the spinal cord is actually smart and it's plastic. That is, it can change, uh, it can even learn a motor task that it, it's taught. And this, is, this can happen even in absence of any input from the brain. Now, we also know that in human subjects, uh, we have taken advantage of this phenomenon, but it's in individuals which have injuries which are called incomplete, motor incomplete or sensory incomplete injuries. That is, they have severe injuries, but they cannot consciously or voluntarily move muscles that are innervated below the lesion. Well, what we're doing here is using epidural stimulation to increase the excitability of this network. But a very important point, and what's really different here, is we're not actually stimulating at an intensity that will induce the movement. We're just modulating the activity level of this, uh, the background activity of this network. So a combination of increasing the activity level of background activity level of this network and then using the sensory information from the legs, we've been able to uh, uh, achieve a level of function that has not been demonstrated before uh, in an individual with a motor complete injury. That is, this individual can stand for several minutes uh, independently. Uh, now, several minutes may not sound like a big deal, but uh, several, uh, several minutes of standing for an individual that has not stood for several years is, is, is quite important. Well, this, this research could also lead to other, uh, to treatment of other diseases and neuromotor disorders as well, uh, because of the basic concept of just changing the excitability of the spinal cord, we, we think that it could help individuals with uh, Parkinson's. It may help individuals with, uh, with stroke. The implications are, are fairly large. And I know that this is a pretty dramatic statement, but uh, based on what we've seen so far, we're very anxious to test this in these other uh, experimental paradigms.